What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon's Delight. Let's get into it, y'all, man. Um, I said to myself, I'm gonna put this all in one video just because I'm behind on Raw, and this is this is looking like another nightmare week where I'm like behind on these videos, man. So I said, no, nah, I can't do two different videos. So I'm gonna wrap everything up with this whole Trick Mello. Uh, Trick Mellow gang stuff right now. So early in the night, Mellow came out, and then Baron Corbin came out. It was a pretty good uh, uh, promo segment too. DiJack came out after that. They all confronted Mellow and kind of confronted each other. And it was gonna be a triple threat match later in the main event to determine who was gonna face Ilya Dragunov for his title. I believe that Halloween Havoc, I'm not sure if it's night one or night two. I can't remember, but because there's going to be two weeks of Halloween Havoc. So, and night one is looking stacked. They showed the matches, and it's looking really stacked. But anyway, so uh, we got a real big surprise. Whoop that trick. Whoop that trick. Trick Mellow came out, and I'm telling you, this dude, I, look, if if Melo, be, I mean, if Trick becomes that dude, man, give me all the credit because I've been saying that this dude might be the next rock in the future, bro. He had the crowd in the palm of his hands, man. He came out. He was funny as hell on the segment. He, because Baron Corbin tried to say something about his jeans, right? And I was like, I was like, wait a minute, man. He said something about like. He was saying something about his jeans, and then he got on court because Baron Corbin said they were ugly. And then Trip Mellow was like, you the last person that should be calling anybody ugly. So we end up finding out that Trick came out because he wanted to put his uh, put his name into the hat and, and turn that triple threat match into a fatal four-way. And the whole time, Mellow was looking shocked as hell, man. It was great. Like, his expression was like jaw-dropping, like, wait a minute. I know this nigga just, just come out here and just uh, drop his name into the hat. And they run it by me first. And so later on, we had a locker room state um, segment between the two where, uh, you know, Carmelo kind of, you know, confronted Trick about it, you know, understandably so. Because the main thing that Melo was, he wasn't mad about Trick being in the mat. He just was mad about the fact that he hid it from him, like he was trying to hide something. And then Trick actually revealed that that's what him and John Cena, you know, one of the things that John Cena was mentoring him on when he gave, remember last week I had went over that too. Check out my NXT videos from last week, by the way, if you haven't, because I put them up late. That's why. That's why I'm not trying to do too many videos, because like, man, I was so far behind. But anyway, we had Trick Williams, right? Uh, tell us what Cena, what well, you know, one of the things that Cena was telling him about, and one of the things that Cena must have told him about was take advantage of your opportunities when you could get them, and um, and stuff like that and so he took his advice and he ran out there and ran with it they seemed like they was cool with it and then later on in the night we find out that somebody attacked trick williams backstage uh he had to go to the hospital we got a report update later on in the night and we found out about that so that was interesting very interesting way to set up the whole episode on nxt with this situation so he could not fight Melo ended up winning the match by the way so we're going to get another Ilya dragon versus mellow mellow match um okay and, and and i forgot it is in my notes it's going to be night two of halloween so it's going to be the main event of night two because it didn't make sense because night one is going to be becky versus live valkyria for the title so uh and we're going to get into that later what happened with that but uh yeah man so Interesting, man, and we I need to find out who, who did it because the obvious suspects would be Dijak and Baron Corbin, but they never did really reveal who it was. You never know if it was Ilya Dragunov himself. It's going to be interesting if they ever reveal it who it was because I got this feeling it's not as obvious as it seems. I think it's a mysterious person, and it's going to be revealed at some point. Could it also be Braun Breaker? Because Braun Breaker was trying to give Mellow advice uh, a couple of weeks ago. He might be trying to turn Mellow against Trick. Um, because I know Trick, you know, Mellow himself is going to be a suspect too, man. That's why this whole thing is going to be very interesting. Now we got some layers to this. And whenever Trick come back, we're going we gonna to see who did it, man. Because I, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think it was Dijak or Baron Corbin. In the way Ilya Dragunov been lately, I don't think it was him either. Now, if this was a few months ago, I, I probably would have thought it was Ilya Dragunov, but I don't think it was him. I think it was someone trying to set this up. 
my pick is Braun Breaker for right now. Let me know in the comment section who y'all think, man. Go ahead and give this video a like, share, subscribe, man. We're going to talk about Rhea Ripley next. Um, saving down. Thank y'all for watching. After news to like.